Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is February 11th, 2021. And today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of today, we're watching the Aussie dollar take the lead versus the USD as that is making a further rotation. Now looking at the major economic events today, nothing scheduled for today. But jumping into the various markets, the rest of the major pairs are tapering off versus the USD. But the Aussie seems to be continuing further. Now looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq both taper off after Fed Chairman Powell makes a bizarre statement yesterday about employment in the United States. Now looking at commodities, oil is still very strong while gold tapers off. And looking at the stock, Microsoft retraces at its highs. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin, it continues to trade sideways after hitting that colossal threshold at $47,000 per Bitcoin. Now, looking at the markets, let's take a look. So we're going to jump into the Aussie USD at a four hour chart. You could see pretty much how resistance plays so much here. 77.48 right now, as that has hit quite a few times before, both as a support level and as a resistance level. So this is really very important. Now, we haven't hit our all time highs like we did with the GBP which is really the stronger pair. Okay, now looking at the GBP USD, we're trading still at those all time highs, but not breaking out higher. What is beautiful about this? Okay, now we've mentioned this several times is that it always, always committed to its moving average, never really retraced. And that is a bona fide upwards momentum as we continue to break this higher. Now to really give us a perspective about this, we got to jump into a weekly chart. Okay, now the next real resistance after breaking this 3,800, 13,800 is next one is 41, 141, 143-ish area. So just be aware that this is continuing to be strong. And you can see even with the MACD, it just continues to plow higher with consistent volume on the upside. So dollar getting significantly weaker versus the GBP. Now jumping into gold. Gold now is just bouncing off of this level at 1842 this morning from 1836. It is for all intents and purposes trading sideways. Okay, we were sustaining a somewhat robust upwards momentum, but we broke that and now we are just sideways trading. Okay, so really anywhere below 1830 is really a buy on this. Any Anywhere above 1862 would be a sell on this, but right now we're just not even breaking those parameters. We're trading in a very tight range. Now jumping into oil, this has really been very strong and has continued on its highs to 58.40. So at this stage, okay, just looking at this, nothing to really write home about. If we do have a correctional move and we do break this moving average, the eight day moving average, we may see ourselves trading within this 57.80 ish level. Okay, but that's as far as we can go unless it does break the above area. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, tapering off here at 31,400 ish level. Now, let's look at a 30 minute chart to give us perspective. Yesterday, Fed Chairman Powell came up with a very bizarre statement that the US Americans should come up with employment decisions and come up with employment options. Now, when there's a pandemic and there's systemic unemployment, you know, you're, you're counting on the central governments to actually bail you out, okay, unfortunately. Um, and since we live in a very credit philosophy, like most of us are living on credit, you know, we're, we're, we're in a situation where it's really, it could really become very bad. So the markets are still expecting a stimulus check to actually um, jump in, okay? Uh, that has yet to be actually passed. It's, I believe, the third third stimulus, okay, that is coming out. So with that said, the markets are still very optimistic about it. And in the backdrop, okay, behind the scenes, the Fed is keeping the dollar very cheap, which means to borrow money is very cheap. So that is really kind of like the secret of why the markets are trading at such intervals, okay, because companies could borrow money at almost nothing, okay, or less than nothing, believe it or not. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, did have a decent sell-off yesterday, 13,700. We sold off to 13,400. A lot of volatility yesterday and then finally making it back. Now, Twitter had um, 
earning reports yesterday came out with decent earning reports did fly off the off the open now looking at apple okay this has gotten significantly weaker now it might not happen today but this should sell off okay uh, and the reason is as the market goes higher this doesn't okay so that the next market turn when the market does sell off i do expect this to sell off as well jp morgan trading right below its resistance this level on 140 dollars microsoft um, really on its highs and then making an about face let's look at a 30 minute chart from 244 down to 242 but this is having some challenges breaking higher and when we don't break higher we break lower okay so I do anticipate some sort of a correctional move coming in the next week or so for the U.S. stock exchanges on the downside. Now, looking at Bitcoin, all right, this has really been the major player over the past couple of days. Um, all intents and purposes, rally to 47,900 ish level, almost 48,000, and then we're kind of tapering off to 44,000. Now, this is not a sell off, this is just tapering off. And remember, you know, if this is being bought at $47,000, then someone is anticipating that it's going to go even higher. So at these levels, it's a little bit scary to jump into it. But definitely, um, you could see that there's no fade opportunity, meaning after this massive rally that we had from the news event, I would have expected it to have a further correction. It hasn't happened, at least not yet. OK, so keep this in mind as this may still make that correctional move at least 50%, somewhere to the 41, 42,000 ish area. So just keep that in mind as we continue trading Bitcoin today. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.